Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be flying to Rutland, Vermont for the Rutland Fly-In. We are at the North Ramp again because Chris is gonna be picking us up in um, his, uh, one of his archers that his flying club uses. So yeah, it's gonna be a very good time. So uh, stick around and watch. <laughs> Alright, we have Chris and the Archer right now, so um, we're gonna um, start up and head out. Clear prop! Schenectady County Airport. Automated weather observation. One, one, four, six, Zulu. Weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero. Ceiling, 700. Overcast, temperature, five Celsius. Dew point, five. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, five. Technical headway service. Texas Echo and Fox Track. Stack to ground, Archer 38254. Archer 38254, Sierra Crow. Archer 38254, we have the NOTAMs and numbers. We'd like to pick up our IFR clearance to Rutland. Archer 254, clear to the Rutland Airport as file, except on departure, turn right heading 235. Maintain 3000. I expect 7000, one zero minutes after departure. All means departure frequency 132.82, squawk 5313. Clear to live at Rutland, except on departure, maintain heading 235. I'm to 3,000, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 132.82, squawk 5313, Archer 254. All right, flight plan. Archer 254, are you back correct? Roger, a taxi. Archer 254, we're ready to taxi. 254, Roger, the winds are calm, altimeter 3005, taxi to runway 22 at Delta. Runway 22 at Delta, via Delta, Archer 254. Alright guys, so we're gonna fly to Rutland IFR this time. We're gonna go via the Cambridge and then um we're gonna go there for the fly in. Chris flew in from Syracuse and this beautiful archer. Yep. And um yeah, it's gonna be a pretty fun flight. He's gonna do his run up now. Yep. Uh so I'm gonna do uh here we go. Ground check. Gonna put the throttle to rich taxi uh yeah, throttle two thousand RPM. Now this has that funky electric mag though, it's gonna thunk when I do this. Two left. Back to both. There we go. One left. Back to both. Carburetor heat. Works good. Vacuum, we have good suction, which is good for this flight. Oil temperature is warm. Oil pressure is in the green. Air conditioner is off. Enunciator panel checked. Carburetor heat. Uh, is good. Electric fuel pump is off. Fuel pressure is good with the pump off. And the throttle. Put it back to 1,000 RPM. For takeoff, mattress switch is on. Flight instruments, our A attitude indicator is level. The electric attitude indicator is level. Altimeter is set to 3005. Vertical speed is zero. Our, comp our uh, DG is 13. Uh, no flag on the turn coordinator, and I have our flight plan set for Cambridge. This is on GPS mode. Uh, fuel selectors on the right tank, electric fuel pump on. Engine gauges are all in the green. Seat backs are erect, mixture is rich, primer is locked, belts and harnesses are tight. Uh, flaps are retracted. Trim tab is neutral. Controls, do a control check. All the controls are free and correct. Doors latched, both of them are latched. Air conditioner is off and we're good to go. Sounds good, boss. <coughs> Alright. Turn the landing light on. Strobe, I'm going to leave off. And we're good to go. 
Sky Tower, Archer 38254 is holding short of 22 at Delta, ready for departure. Archer 38254, Sky Tower, Archer 3, hold short, waiting for release. Roger, hold short, uh, 22 at Delta, Archer 254. I'm guessing there's a lot of traffic to Rutland. I think they just haven't seen my flight plan yet. Uh, At least Albany Approach hasn't. I don't. I don't think Schenectady has any authors. Two five four. Runway two two at Delta Clear for takeoff. Runway two two at Delta Clear for takeoff. Archer two five four. Two five four contact Albany departure go flight. Albany departure three two five four. Albany departure. Good morning, Archer three eight two five four is climbing through one thousand three hundred for three thousand heading two three five. Three eight two five four Albany departure ident Albany altimeter three zero zero six. Climb maintain four thousand. Climb maintain four thousand. We're identing three eight two five four. Number 254 radar contact, two miles uh, southwest of the disconnect to the airport, reaching 2000, turn a right, right turn heading 310. Right turn heading 310 at 2000, 3254. And approach of Ventura 560. Ventura 560, Albany. Yeah, we can head over to Sierra Charlie Hotel. So that citation on the radio is diverting, disconnected. Number 254, clear at Cambridge, climb maintain 7000. Climb maintain 7000, direct Cambridge, Archer 254. He diverted, disconnected? He's diverting, disconnected right now. Huh. So how was it climbing through that um, layer right after takeoff? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's fun. When his gym training starts, it'll be pretty cool. Two five six yeah. radar service terminated. Contact Schenectady Tower one two one point three. Or to Tower twenty one three one zero five six three. Thanks for your help. Number nine or Romeo Juliet for out to your discretion. Nine or Romeo Juliet, Roger. Was it like bad? Uh, like leaving Syracuse this morning? It was perfectly clear in Syracuse. It was just over here. It's cloudy. Yeah. I mean, the the clouds were as low as two hundred feet when I first got the weather. It was uh, broken two hundred feet. I was kind of just waiting for it to get better. But it got up to, I think, 700 when I landed, and then the visibility was two miles instead of a quarter. Yeah, yeah. Albany is still very low, if you look down below. Yeah. That's why that citation diverted, I guess. Three, golf try, Roger, you can expect that. Yeah, this electric gym isn't working for some reason. Oh, no. So I gotta do it the old poverty way and adjust it manually. This is why you all need to join Syracuse Flying Club so we can afford new planes. This video is sponsored by Syracuse Flying Club. I wish. <laughs> so Chris got his instrument rating back in uh, July of 2022. Yep, right in the middle of July. The week know. before we went to Oshkosh. The week before the Oshkosh trip. So I didn't really even have to use it either. Yeah. It was perfectly clear the whole way there. He's currently a commercial student in Schenectady County Community College's aviation program. Yep, lots of commercial time building. Yep. So I, I can. This is this counts as a time building flight for me. So good. Did, uh, tell me a little about the program, like the pros, like about so, it. So um, you start off. It's a two-year program. First semester, you do your private pilot's license. Second semester of the first year, you do your instrument rating, 
And then both semesters of the second year, you do your commercial. And um, if you're on track, you can also do your uh, CFI. Um, so I'm on track for that right now. Instructors are really good. Um, generally, planes are decently available. Um, they're just a little on the older side. So yeah, if you um, uh, want to be a pilot in the capital region, I think that STC will be a great school for you if you want to learn how to fly. Yep. Albany departure, Mooney, 92 Kilo Charlie, 1,100, climbing 3,000. November 902 8 Kilo Charlie, up in the approach, I bet, altimeter 3006, good morning. 3006, good morning. So our instructor, as you just heard, um, is flying as well in his Mooney. Yep. Uh, 9 a kilo Charlie, so. He'll probably catch up to us. Yeah. <laughs> We're going about 130 across the ground. November 8 kilo Charlie, radar contact two miles north of the Schenectady Airport, climb and maintain 7,000. I maintain 7,000, 8 kilo Charlie. He's also one of the instructors at Schenectady County Community College. He's the instrument one. Yep, oh. I did my instrument with him. He's a good one. He's also the only one. <laughs> so I can't get the weather at Rutland yet. I think we're just too far away. Yeah. Rutland's uncontrolled, it looks like, so that's going to be fun. It is uncontrolled. Number 8 Kilo Charlie, turn right, proceed on course to Cambridge. Right on course to Cambridge, Steve, still charge. I'm going to try my luck with the autopilot again. Av mode, altitude. Oh, nice. Not nice. <laughs> it's not what it's supposed to be. Uh, oh, wait, it's on Nav 1. All right, well, that's not what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, all right. Oh, I have a nav localizer? No. This autopilot is older than this GPS, so I don't think they're... Well, I don't quite remember how to set it up. There is a way to do it. Localizer. The one. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I put on localizer, it'll do it. Because it thinks I'm flying a local... No, maybe no. not. I just made it turn more. All right, well, I'm gonna hand fly it. Sky condition, vertical visibility, 100. Temperature, zero, four. Celsius, 2.04 Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, five. Temperature. I've never heard zero, that before. Four. Like vertical visibility instead of like what the ceiling was. Yeah. This is the first time at Rutland? First time for you going to Rutland? What? Is this your first time going to Rutland? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, visit, the requirements for the ILS is 700 feet. Or, yeah, 700 foot ceiling. And one and a half miles visibility. Let me see if there's a better approach. Uh, that's better actually. Our nav Zulu is 500 feet and three quarters. That's probably that's better. The TAF shows uh, clouds are few 200, but that's 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I've just I've never heard them. I've never heard the term vertical visibility used before. Yeah. Viper two five four contact Boston Center one three five point seven. One three five point seven Archer two five four. Boston Center. Good morning. Archer three eight two five four is checking in seven thousand. Archer 38254, Boston Center, good morning. Rutland Altimeter is 3005. 3005, Archer 254. Number 38254, uh, there's a uh, special automated observation for uh, Rutland, 1216. The winds were calm, visibility is three quarter of a mile. Uh, Miss vertical visibility, 100 feet, temperature 4, 2.4, altimeter 3005. Roger, thanks for the weather, Archer 254. November 38254, let me know when you have the uh, minute weather, the notums, and the type of approach you're requesting. Roger, we have the weather for Rutland. We'd like to do the, we'd like to plan for the RNAV Zulu, we're only 1-9, um, but the uh, uh, ceiling requirement for that is not quite um, low enough, so we might have to do a hold at uh, get key before we can do the approach. November 38254, uh, Roger, you can plan on holding a good key and I'll have to uh, direct to the initial and uh, holding instructor shortly. Roger, 254. November 38254, could direct to get key. 
Direct to Git Gee, Archer 2x4. November 2752 Golf. Give me a fire up there. Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One, two, two, five. Five, two, go. Zulu. Pop at uh, six thousand. There is no fog over Zero. Rutland. Five. Rutland is open. And uh, air is smooth. Twenty, thirty miles of visibility. Sky condition. Interesting. Thank you for the report. The weather sounds way worse than that, and I just saw a VFR pop up off the field, so I was wondering if it was clear down there. Dew point zero. There's definitely fog Celsius. in the valley still, but the wide Three, open. Zero. Zero. Very good. 254, did you hear that uh, report there? It's just north of Rutland at 6300. Yeah, I heard what you were saying with uh, that other um, aircraft. I'm listening to the uh, AWOS right now. Right. Airport. Care 56, contact Boston, 134.7. 134.7, care 56. Wind, 1, November 2752, two Golf, I appreciate zero, your report five. there. You can contact Boston, 134.7, have a nice day. Temperature, At Boston, zero. Uh, Hopscotch 73. Hopscotch 73, go ahead. So just off of Rutland, heading down to Farmingdale, we're at uh, 4.5, get advisory. Hey, Simbo. At Archer 3, at 254. Uh, AWAS still shows the field, or still reports the field as IFR, but with that uh, pyre up, I would like to just proceed and do the uh, RNAV Zulu 19. November 38254, Roger, you can expect that. And uh, calling off Rutland, it was Hopscotch 73, is that correct? Confirmed. Hopscotch 73, Squawk 3510. And Hopscotch 73, what's the type aircraft? Uh, we're in a SAR 20. Thank you. Hopscotch 73, never heard of that. Interesting call sign. <laughs> you could choose whatever call sign you want, right? Hopscotch 73, we're in a contact. You have a flight plan. South of Rutland, yeah. Rutland altimeter is 3005. Well, thank you. Could be a flight school plane or something that have a, has a call sign. Probably, honestly. November 38254, looks like just one notamind did to read you there. Rutland uh, radio altimeter is unreliable for 5G interference. Roger, thanks for the uh, notum, 3254. I don't have a radio altimeter. This is what Isaiah sent. He's at Rutland right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there you go. And <laughs> yeah, Archer 254, if it matters at all, I just had a friend send me a picture from Rutland and the sky is completely clear. November 38254, great, thanks. I'll still do, do the approach, because we might have to fly through something to get there. Get the whole IFR experience today. Yeah. I can label this as an IFR flight vlog. <laughs> At least the departure was IFR, kind of. Yeah. Missed. November 38254, cross Gitki at or above 6,000, you cleared for the RNAV, runway 19, Rutland. Cross Gitki at or above 6,000, cleared for the RNAV, uh, Zulu 19, Rutland, Archer 254. In November 38254, I think you said you had the field inside. Did, would you rather a, uh, a visual? I don't know if you wanted to change that. Can you see the airport on your right? On the right? Oh, I do have it. And Archer 254, we do have the field in sight, and uh, we can go ahead and cancel our IFR and go in visual. Okay, November 38254, I can do that too. IFR cancellations received. Uh, you can squawk VFR, fix change is approved, and I would just listen up for a 7 Tango Sierra who's heading inbound right now. They're about 15 east of the field. Uh, it's a land there. If you turn in tight, you'll beat them, otherwise they're going to beat you to the field by a little bit. Roger, we'll be looking for that traffic. Uh, we're squawking VFR and uh, IFR cancellation received. Archer 254, thanks for the help. You bet. 38254, have a good day. You too, thanks. All right, well, that was funny. <laughs> I gotta fix their weather machine. Weather machine's a little tweaky right now. Yeah. Rutland traffic, Archer 38254, uh, white and green Archer. Four miles to the southwest of the field, we'll be overflying the field at uh, 3000 MSL teardrop entry into the 45 left down for. Uh, sorry, right down in for 1-9, Rutland. Uh, plane going into Rutland, is it uh, VFR there? Uh, clear in a million, right above Rutland, believe it or not. Oh, because the AWOS is saying half a mile. Yeah, about two or three miles to the north of the field, and about two miles to the west, there's some uh, scattered clouds, but directly above the field, it is clear skies. Thank you. Did he say Rutland was clear? Affirmative. Do a circle.
trees look amazing. Yeah, it's nice out here. And Rutland Traffic Archer 254, just two miles to the southwest of the field on the 45 for the right down and runway 19 Rutland. Rutland Traffic Archer 254 is turning right base runway 19 Rutland. I'm gonna kind of float down to the end of the runway a little bit. All right. Nice. Rutland traffic, experimental RB12, eight miles to the east. The yell to find the field for right down 119 Rutland. And Rutland traffic, lamps here, two seven tango spheres, right down 119 Rutland. Hey, Tony. Hey. How's the weather there? Uh, really nice. There's some fog off to the uh, west, uh, but it's not a factor. Okay. I think it's over here. I gotta go. Oh, yeah. Here it is. To fly in right now, it's really good. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. That's a very nice banana. The this is a uh, eight cylinder plane, it's crazy. Um, so, like, we have all these planes, I mean, a Cape Air is just like here. I don't know why, but here. 